With the rapid increase in global warming, renewable energy has become an important option for energy generation as one of the most efficient and effective measures to slow down climate change. Among the many available renewable energy sources, tides are favored for their substance and due to their predictability. Tides are predictable for at least 100 years. With an efficient storage system, tidal energy could provide a base load power that can help to displace conventional energy sources. In recent years, there has been a significant advancement in the design of tidal energy devices. Nevertheless, the number of commercial scale tidal energy developments is still very small. The cost of energy produced by tidal turbines is still high. In order for the industry to compete with other energy sources and become economically viable, energy extraction needs to be more efficient. In this short video presentation, I will discuss how we can improve the tidal energy extraction efficiency without causing any additional disruption to the marine environment. The rotational motion of the tidal turbine's rotor creates vortices and a turbulent flow downstream the turbine, which will extend to a certain distance behind the turbine, as you can see in the animation and the figure on the right. The environmental impact of this limited flow alteration can be neglected. But when the number of turbines in an array increases, the effects on the energy extraction efficiency and the surrounding environment become more complex. We found that arranging the turbines in a layout of staggered subarrays improves the efficiency of the energy extraction taking the advantage of the flow behavior when it's confined and redirected towards the subgroup of turbines. Each subgroup represents one unit of multiple rotors tidal device, similar to the Platai device. But how would this configuration prefer compared to other standard layouts? We have simulated a number of different tidal array layouts, including the staggered subarray configuration. And we have assessed the effects of each configuration on the energy extraction efficiency and on the tidal flow behavior. As you can see from the figures shown in this slide, that all the different layouts have a similar impact on the wider flow behavior with some differences on the local flow around the individual turbines. But in terms of efficiency, we found that the staggered subarray layout provides the highest energy yield. What about the impact on marine life? We don't have a commercial scale array of multiple rotors tidal installation yet to be able to do long-term monitoring of the interaction between such type of installations and the marine life. However, a study which has been done by Aquaterra to analyze underwater video data of a multiple rotor tidal device shows that using such devices does not increase the risk of fish or marine mammals collision with the device. Nevertheless, further monitoring is required to be able to draw a confirmed conclusion.